Welcome to another episode of Island Dreams, where we show you the Bahamas' finest real estate. Today we're located on, in historical downtown Nassau, and we're going to visit the historical town hotel. Exciting. What we're going to do today is do a tour of this 47-room hotel, asking price only $6.9 million, and we're going to try to show you why it's worth it. Let's go. Hey, good morning. How are you? Great. Welcome to Town Hotel. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Mario. Sheldon, you're here. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Sheldon. You okay? What's up? Good All to right. see you. Good to see you. Who's this guy here? Well, that's that's Ron. Ron hey, Ron. And this is a 24-hour security yeah. guard, Max. This is Max. Yeah. Max, say hello. Say Max, Max is 48 years old. <laughs> Huh? Max, are you taking any uh, medication? <laughs> oh. You know, Sean, I really love this lobby. I like what it we're talking nice. about. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. how Ron's got it set up. I like the doorman. I like the art. I like the bar. Why it don't is, we talk a little wait. bit about room? No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Forget about the roommates for right now. Let me show you the hotel. Okay. That's the selling point. Here. Yeah, let's maybe. Let's take that's a walk through and take a look at it. All right. Okay? Okay. I'm okay with Come that. On. All right. Let me okay. show you the hotel. All right, let's do it. So I, I want to start with. We're here in the lobby, and here's the dining room. Don't look at the cakes. <laughs> Don't look at the cakes, they're really good. So we have a dining room bar area over here. Um, the hotel consists of 47 rooms, uh, 49 bathrooms. I'm gonna take you outside so you can see the pool area. Come take a look at that. Come this way, come on. All right, man, so I know there's a lot of functionality things going here. Yeah. How things flow, you're working within a confined space. Correct, right? so we have a nice outside area open to the sky. We have a nice pool area over here. Uh, now, one of the questions I asked Ron was, where does his clientele come from? And I think you just said, what, last week you had over 20 nationalities here? Yeah. All yeah. Hotel at the same time. yeah, so, yeah. you know, the point is, Town Hotel is not your Atlantis, not your Bahama. This is a very classic... It's a unique hotel. United Nations Hotel, Absolutely maybe? That's the way yeah. to use it? Absolutely. I mean, he was just telling me a story the other day about you know, people from this Eastern Europe that were here, quite a few of them, you know, and uh, Max was up to his old games again. Remember that story? <laughs> well, so, yeah, last it's a great time location. I was here, I, um, I got to speak to two ladies from Japan, right? Yeah. They had just arrived, and they were staying here, and they were saying how much they love it, how convenient it is, how affordable. It is. And they can walk to almost anything they need to go to. As I right? said earlier, location, as you location, know. Location, right. Location, 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 and this is it. If, you, if you're smart, you would look at this quickly and move on it because Nassau is changing and downtown Nassau is actually coming into its own now. Right. It's actually going to be what it's supposed to be. Well, I have constantly said we're at that stage Correct. where you've got almost a billion dollars being spent within a two mile radius. And if anybody wants to take advantage of that, it's time to get into now. the game. Now, don't waste time. Move on it now, okay? Because this is the place to be. Downtown Nassau, I mean, we have a nice deck up top here, sun deck. It overlooks downtown Nassau. You can see Government House. You can see Bay Street. You can see the ocean from up there. It's a beautiful view. Yeah, so, you know, I see the pool. Correct. Uh, I noticed you mentioned the top deck. I think you're going to have access to go up. So what else is happening in this space that you want to mention? You've got the rooms, the layout of the rooms. Are they all the same? Um, are there bigger rooms, smaller rooms, double beds, single beds? And uh, do you have different views and that determines room rates? We do, yeah. We have, uh, in the Town Hotel, there's uh, the, the, the rooms on the, with the balconies on uh -huh. George Street. Uh -huh. We also have rooms on either side of the building of this courtyard here as well. And the views are amazing from George Street. You can see, like I said, Government House, the street itself, and George Street is the oldest street in Nassau. Right, so, so that's uh, a good point. later on today, I've been able to, kind enough to have a very good friend of mine who is a historian. And he's going to tell us a little bit about George Street. I look good. forward to that interview. Good, good, And good. that, again, just emphasizes the location yeah. what makes town hotels We're special. in the middle of the culture of NASA. Uh, the We're right in the middle of it, right. you know? And, and everything that this government is doing and the people of the Bahamas, we are in the process of revitalizing right. downtown Nassau. Right. That's kind of the focus of our country, of our nation, to revitalize, bring this downtown Nassau back to life. Many of cities globally have done that, and Correct. many cities globally continue Correct. to want to do that. And we are in that same mindset, and this hotel sits right in the middle of it. It's changing. It's changing. That's why I say move fast. If you're going to think about investing in downtown Nassau and you're interested in the hotel business, this is a good building to look at. This is at. a good it's place. It's a great to be. building to look at, actually. Very good, Sheldon. Great location. Very good. This is it. This is it, Ron. 
This is what I like about the Town Hotel, this view that we have out here. Yeah. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah. This is awesome. I love the sun deck. I love the seating area that you have over here. You know, I think this is awesome. You can see the government house. Yeah. This is a rooftop deck. Yeah. But, you know, we can do two more floors here and put another rooftop deck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's space to expand there as well, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, now, it's a great then, building. Of course, on the other side, five of our junior suites are here. Right. We have about seven in the hotel. but Let's take a look at one. Yeah, we'll can we see one? Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, absolutely. The sun. Oh, yeah. Nice and comfortable. Oh, wow. I love the color. Ah, oh, this is what I love about this hotel. Look at these rooms. It gives me that Art Deco feel with the color and the designs with the painting, you know, the walls. You were saying something about each suite? Yeah, each suite is a different artist. Okay. So this is Pico. This is Pico. Uh, he's a French artist. Oh. And this is all his different paintings. Okay. You look around in the art. I love in it. here, yeah. This is great. So, so we are, we're going to show you another uh, another one of the uh, junior suites. To, right. Just, up, just next door. And it's from a different artist, and you'll have different art. Let's take a look at that yeah. one. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, double beds. Okay. Beautiful. This has got the twin beds in it. So if you come here, two couples could stay here, yeah, a family and, and a couple of children. Yeah, if you have a kid or a couple of children, this it makes down into another Correct. Bed. All so of we have the two talks as well. Feature. So we can sleep about five people in there. They can do, yeah. Realistically, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, this is it. I mean, this is great. George Street. We're on George Street, the oldest street in Nassau, New Providence, okay, in the Bahamas. You have the Anglican Church right here, and then you have Government House on this side. Gorgeous Street. Got your own balcony. You can sit out here and relax, you know, enjoy the weather. Great place. You're coming from up north? This is the place to be, right here. Once we walked inside, it was even better than it was on the outside, and mm -hmm. just charming, and there's a parrot, and Junkanoo decorations and it was just a place where we thought we got to go back and we yeah. did. <laughs> the bartender I remember telling us a lot about the I think it was the Junkanoo celebration which was a bit of an education unto itself. We were sitting right here. And that was Robbie. Robbie, yes. the bartender, yes. yes. Okay. Not They're very friendly. Today, apparently. But <laughs> the thing that for we, for us, for us it's nice to get off the beaten track and get away from a lot of the organized tours. Yeah. Those are fine but so for us it's we go out and walk, and we just walk. And, you know, we get to see a lot of stuff, which is a wonderful pace and way to see things and to just say hello to people along the way, which to us is a really enriching experience. I told people back home that it feels like a little bit of Casablanca. You know, the movie, the, the, the joint in Casablanca, the movie. Yeah. It just feels like an old hotel, an old movie hotel, and it's charming. Okay, we saw the town hotel. We saw the decks upstairs, I told you about the rooms, some information on the hotel, where we're located, but there's something missing, and I think there's something you need to know about. I'm gonna introduce you to my friend, John Boswick, who is one of the first residents here, who's been here more than a few decades, living downtown. I want you to meet John. John, say hi to the people. This is my buddy, John Boswick. He's a historian here, he's gonna give you a little more about this street, George Street. Sheldon, how you Good to see you, man. Good, Good to see you. Man. Good to see you. Always Good to see you. see you. I'm going to let the people know more about George Street and what's going on here, you know. And I know you're the guy for that. Looking forward to it. Looking All right. Absolutely. It. Good. Absolutely. All right, guys. I guess it's time to end this video uh, with somebody who's actually been living on this street for 30 years. Um, as a 30-year resident, I, I, I know a little bit about the place. Um, and the Town Hotel is one of my favorite spots. It's the neighborhood's hangout. It's the best spot to get something nice to eat and uh, to meet and greet a lot of people from all over the world. Um, that said, you know, George Street. George Street is at the center of governance in, in the Bahamas. And in fact, it is the street that defines the city of Nassau as an official city. Right at the top of the street, over, over here to our right, we've got Government House. And Government House is the historic seat of the Queen. Um, the Bahamas is still a member of the Commonwealth. The Queen is still our figurehead of state. And the governor, the governor general right now, still represents the Queen. Still, so she still represents the head of state. But historically, uh, the actual governor lived there. And so at one point, that house housed the, the, you know, the, uh, the Duke, uh, the former King of England. Uh, when he came down in the 1930s, uh, after having left his throne for, for Wallace Simpson, that beautiful lady from America, and he literally lived there. He literally lived there at the top of the street and would have been the ruler uh, of the Bahamas of the state on behalf of the Queen at that time. Um, and what makes George Street so super extra special is that in order for Nassau, the city of Nassau, to be de uh, defined as a city, uh, it had to have a central cathedral. So uh, the Central Cathedral 
is located just down here on what is the eastern side of the street, uh, the northeastern side of the street, uh, at, at the Carfax, the crossroads, um, where we have the central cathedral. Um, when that cathedral was built hundreds of years ago, Nassau was able to be designated as a city, all right? Um, and that was very, very important, uh, very important for, for, for royalty at the top of the street in order to collect taxes. Um, and the taxes uh, were as generated from revenue collected at the bottom of the street. Um, and at the bottom of the street, we've got uh, what is now Pompey Museum um, uh, at the head of Pompey Square. And Pompey Museum is the former slave market um, and named after a former slave who actually led a, a major revolt, one of the revolts that led to abolition um, because the Bahamas has some serious history with that. So at the bottom of the street, we have commerce and we have commercial income. We have trade and industry. We have the power and the wealth of the state, of the, of the monarchy at that time, which actually was based on slave trade. And then in the middle of it, we've got uh, the cathedral, which defines it, uh, defines this city as a city, and a taxable, a taxable city. And at the top, we had the seat of the queen. Um, and believe it or not, right in the middle of all of that, we got the town hotel. <laughs> so, um, as one who's lived uh, 30 years, as literally two doors up, it's a special spot, a place you should come and visit when you're in Nassau, a street that you should come and visit when you're in Nassau, a street that you must visit when you're in Nassau, on every walking tour, on every cruise tour, uh, is George Street. Long story short, uh, the George Street is a place full of history. Um, it's the, one of the most historic locations in all of the Bahamas. Um, the Town Hotel itself is full of history. Uh, you've got Bay Street, less than 200 meters down the road. You've got the Central Bank, 200 meters down the road. It's in the middle of everything. It's in the heart of Nassau. Let me see how Mario wants me to finish this, finish this episode here. Give me half a second here, give me half a second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. Hey, John. Oh, hey, Mario. Yeah, I think we're about done here. How do you want me to finish this up? Shut it down, close it up, man. Give him that John pizzazz. Let's get it done. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. I got that. Good, 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 good. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate your help. Okay, got it. This hotel, this street, living on, has been a dream. This has been your island dream.